I don't know if you want you you've ever gotten rid of that full feeling, right? What? You know what Oliver was talking about. Uh to be honest. Excuse me. Oh, I can't. That's what you get for uh, trying to jump the gun. Taco Bell. Uh, like, I could sympathize a little bit with what he's saying. Actually, we could watch a theater movie and then just get home later. I do get a full. No, we see. Okay. Is there a period where you don't get full? No, I mean, I... You're like, I just ate I three pounds of food and I don't feel full. No, no, no. That doesn't happen anymore. But anymore. Yeah, within the past year, things have started been to too, too far up. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If you're always full, you're too fucked up. I'm not always full. But you I just, eat a meal and then you're full. Uh, like, yeah. there's no way you can eat more. Whereas, if me, me and all of our people, Breatharian, we eat like 150% of a normal meal, like what our old self but used to do. Let me finish. Capacity. Our old self used to do. And we still don't feel that full. It's because our lower digestive tract is more empty. It's not full. The upper part's full because we just stuffed ourselves with a bunch of food, so our stomach's probably expanding. But the lower part, since it doesn't have day, you know, days worth of eating three meals a day, is not full. So it's not the same full because it's not totally full. You can't get totally full by stuffing yourself. You just expand your stomach, and then you'll just probably throw up or something. But but with your other organs smaller, there's more room for your stomach to expand. You could say. Make sense. Uh, I mean, yeah. You're a doubter. Really you're a doubter. Accepted, but, um, I mean, how does this not just physically make sense in physics? If you don't have much crap in your lower, small intestine, big intestine, the size is going to be smaller. It's not going to be full of air. It's not full of air. We don't use them as lungs. Well, why do babies get full? Why do babies get full? You're, you're trying to... Well, I mean, uh, if they their bodies are pure, they should be able to just eat until you... Stop having food down there. What are the softnesses? I doesn't see like a right, the right transition. You're ready to be here. I mean, because I thought your supposition was that. Do I talk too your, fast? No. I, if your body is clean, then there's too much space for you to get full. There's more, yeah, more room. So, at top, the newborn or toddler body is still clean, so they should never get full. I'm talking about a feeling. Oh. I'm talking about I can't eat anymore. Feeling. I don't know how much, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how much they eat compared to their body weight, but I think people are stuffing them with too much food they don't need sometimes. No, I know no formula babies are fatter, pretty much. Okay, let's get to the fast lane. You don't want to admit you're any kind of anything bad about yourself? No, I already admitted that I am. Uh, you're full of crap? Yeah, I, yeah that's, that's what I told you, didn't I tell you from the beginning? That's why I wanted to fast? Yeah. So on a fast that you've done before, have you got to the point where you're done the fast, and the next month or two, whatever the fuck, you eat a meal and you don't feel full? No, after a fast, I usually get full really. Because I'm actually a person who can get. Satisfied. You haven't. I'm saying you haven't cleaned as much as I obviously you haven't cleaned as much as I've cleaned than people I know. Uh, where you, you lose that full feeling, it's like you eat a full meal, like I even said, 150 percent of a normal size. And you don't feel full. Yeah, no, that's larger than before. It's not smaller. That's I could eat a banana and be full after that. So what, what you're saying that means your stomach is shrinking and won't expand as easy. Yeah. Whereas if they're, if I'm, I'm all open in here, um, at points, my stomach has room to expand to even more uh, size. And hence, it might also have to do with the fruit diet because it's a higher volume because it's full of water. So I have to has the practice of expanding to hold it and then you know that stuff gets dumped down really fast because it's full of water and easy to digest being fruit and fiber or water and a little fiber 
no protein and no fat either. You know, really low protein and fat, which take a lot more to digest than sugar, fructose, and glucose. So that could be a part of it too. Or just, you know, intermittent fasting or eating every other day, and then you're still going to be more empty. To where you can, one day you can eat twice as much, and it's for that to get to your colon, for you to feel full down there in your colon. You're only gonna, you're only gonna feel it up here because that's where it's sitting. When you eat it, you know, in your stomach, and it takes, you know, 12 to 24 hours to get down to the bottom. So let's say if you're totally empty and you eat, it's gonna be, you know, like, it starts in your stomach and it's gonna slowly go Slow down. Traffic. And if you don't poop, it's gonna fill up the bottom. So it's slowly gonna go down, but it's gonna fill up bottom, bottom to top keep eating and keep eating your, you know, more meals until you're like, you're totally full and then your whole tract is full again, just like, you know, American these days. And then I think somewhere along there is when your body can't, has too much they can deal with and it starts putting, you know, fat on your stomach. It starts in your stomach. And um, that's for the a lot of people. starting? Yeah, it's, no, well, after. Because that's where the intestines are. Like, that's where the, the closest path coming into the blood you get leaky gut and stuff starts leaking out that's not supposed to be there and then it gets shoved into fat cells for safety so that this, this stuff is not roaming around in your blood these, these you know pieces of food 